welcome everyone. I don't know who's running this. I don't want to assume that I am, but yeah, let's, if you're comfortable with this, I would be super happy if you do, because I started thinking about like, now we're talking a little bit meta, but I started thinking about the format, like people come and then they open their documents and they write something and they go away. And, and actually I have no idea what I'm doing. So, uh, if you have an idea about how do creative writing workshops actually look like the last time I took anything to do with writing as a course I, I took a course that was called academic writing and rhetorics and it was like super boring and then i shortly was after that run that, by I, Mick? I, I, by I dropped Jones. out sorry what no it was it was a, a, like in a swedish university ages ago i went to it was okay i yeah it does sound like academics think that we want to take off a lot of things we do yeah anyway so um, let's let's crack on them because yeah, I would love you to, to host this in FTA. Writing and reading, a bi-weekly type trade-off, because that's really, I think that's a nice uh, benefit. Hello, everyone. My name is Amanda, an FTA, and this is episode zero of the Dow Writing Club. I am a creative for all of you that know me here. I know you do, but I'm just, I'm practicing my introduction for each episode, right? Not episode, but seminar that we have together. I love what you said, Svenia. I really do. That's the idea I see too. I may have forgotten that this was at this exact time, but I we're prepared. So that's good. So I guess what I see this also as, and maybe we can start the session today just by going to each participant and talking about uh, just a general like, couple sentences on what you hope to, you hope to see in this because you guys all showed up for the zero session. So we want to make sure we get your feedback as we move forward. I have not... I don't want to say I haven't run a creative writing class because there's a chance I have. I educate all across the board. I've been a dog trainer, a people trainer, a tiny human trainer. The way that I would approach this is any other class. So for creative writing, I think we are going to potentially set a goal. And then I, I would like to think that we could break these sessions up into maybe the first half, doing a creative session, opening our minds. And that can be DAO focused. That can be fun focused. We can change up the topics and then... Um, the second part of the session and who knows you may need third and fourth parts but the second part is then that blog writing that Xenia originally proposed and that's working towards gold today maybe if we want to try uh defining a topic that we want to begin to write about and we can go from there so that's my my what i would see as a, a creative writing class a writing club and let me know what your thoughts are sounds good then let's get into it let me i thought chris was going to join us this second yeah, sounds good. So the idea is that we try to define the, the topic because it's episode zero. And then some, sometime down the line, we can be more goal oriented, right, as well. Yes. And I think that also lends itself to the participants and the session. So I think I think today, in order to not limit, and Naomi mentioned something about it yesterday, right? You don't want to brand too much in the beginning. So I think what we can start to do even today is define our own topic. That's what I would think would be the most successful is, Sunny, do you want to do blog writing for a topic? I would also like to do that. So I think defining a topic for me to perceive and, and start to tell that story, because we can all tell the same story, but we can also tell interlacing stories together. So I think that'll also be a nice benefit at the end, because if we're all researching the exact same thing, writing about the exact same thing, it, it sure, we may get a great piece out of it, but that's one piece. And I like the idea that you uh, mentioned about this branching out and being a way to help us all get better at writing. So I think picking a piece of your passion from the beginning, picking a piece of your passion, that's an alliteration for those who are new to the writing sector when you use the letters again and again. So picking a piece of your passion, what I would see as a kind of roadmap of this is that... Um, so today we pick our general topic and that gives us the, actually two weeks because we have reading club, but that gives us time to read and, and digest our, and form ideas around what we want to write that stem off from today. And then we can refine those ideas uh, next writing club. So I think that's a good goal that we can achieve. Sounds good. Yeah. Great. Are there any questions before I begin the class? Great. No, not at all. Sounds pretty fun. Excellent. Great. Yeah, good. I'm excited to, to try it with you guys. And this is a open discussion, creative class. So please speak up if you can, if you'd like to, anything that's like that. As Ksenia mentioned, the part of the goal of this, part of what I see is pulling up to this. I know that we all have meetings, we all have things, but pulling up to this, pulling out our notebook, pulling out our last week's creative process and picking up on that and continuing that. At the beginning of this, I'm creating in my personal place. And Ksenia, I look to you if you have a 
an idea of where you would like these creative writing saved, a blog poster, and we can talk about that later. But for me, I'm going to, and I know you're going to be mad, Ksenia, a OneNote, a Microsoft notebook for a second, and I'm sorry. Goodbye. She didn't even say goodbye. She just left. Bye. So actually, let me rephrase that. If you want to grab a piece of paper and a pencil, just that. <laughs> no. Grab a place that you know that you will be able to come back to, some place that you at the moment, even if it's not perfect, are organizing your thoughts and your life. And, and make a space for that, uh, title it, folder it, whatever you want, creative writing, uh, whatever you need. And I would say, don't define it too much because you want to have scrap pad places and stuff like that. You want to be able to uh, place ideas here and thoughts. You want to be able to place thoughts here and, and reorder them. So this doesn't have to be a, a special space. That is what I would say at the beginning for uh, each of our sessions, pull up your spot, pull up your last week's notes. But I also think that there's good things that can come from just drawing. So I am going to grab a pen and a piece of paper. And paper. yeah, yeah, I find I'm more creative with a pen and a piece of paper. I don't know how to say your name. I think it's Damien. We are about to draw something, but we have just started. This is uh, class zero of the writing club. So we're just talking about starting to think of what ideas we want to write about over the course of the club. And also we're about to do a creative exercise if that leads you up to what you need to do. No problem. Actually, I am going to grab my iPad. I think in the future there's a way that I'll be able to... Oh, wait, did Xenia leave again? Did I mention another unsayable name? <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do that because I just realized it's it's a, the process, right? Pen and paper is excellent. For me, I can do this and then if need be, we can share this after... Uh, or at least you can see that there's no wrong way to be creative. I can show this to you and show you there's no wrong way. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's just art. And it's just not art. It's just thought. So. Sorry, just two seconds. I thought I had a pen and paper. Yeah, I was going to go and grab some. Yeah, I have a pen and paper and I have an iPad just because actually now Matt's grabbing that. Does anyone have a recommendation on what they think is a better than one note for me? <laughs> not for me, for anyone. Is it Matrix or? No, I think everyone can just for now use what they want. I'm really anal about these tools. Like I, I personally use Crypt, crypt Pad, but um, mm -hmm. it's not really great. For, for instance, for if you want to edit at the same time, because of it's end-to-end -end encrypted, so it's like open source, so it's a bit clunky still. It's not really a sleek product. But I'm not gonna like yeah sell, sell you tools. I guess if we really want to get it started, it's better we use what we used to. Like process, honestly, you can stop yourself from creating so much just by being particular about how you want to create. If you don't get the idea out, you may lose it because if you're so particular about how to get it out, you lose those pieces thinking about the right way to get it out. Yeah, yeah, that's that actually can be a trap. So even I can live with us using whatever Google, you're absolutely right about it. You can, it's almost like your brain starts thinking in terms of boundaries. Mm -hmm. but that's why I suggest to a, a piece of paper for this or just a free writing pad or something because you want to be able to have no boundaries even in writing we want to we're going to do a brainstorming exercise coming up uh, in just a minutes and that's what I, I like that freedom as far as tools go yeah it is something to discuss and it is a personal choice and it's something uh I think where I lean to one note and like one note is because uh, my life was clunky everything is moving so fast and I couldn't keep track of all the different topics so I need to find a, a a notebook, a safer notebook in the future. But uh, I will say I don't hide a lot of, I don't hide anything in there. It's just like, how do you uh, keep track of all your subjects at school? So now I have a creative writing subject in here. <laughs> so hopefully we can learn from this class. So with that, I am going to uh, channel uh, Naved uh, and that, that relaxation mindset. I hope that Naved is relaxing right now and enjoying the retreat and look forward to the session when he comes back. So we're just going to relax for a second, but also take in your environment and your piece of paper. And we are, I would, I think this is a great idea. Go with the first thought that comes to your mind, because that's what's going to kind of set us off on that brainstorm. So if you take a moment, we'll give it like a minute or two and think about what topic you would like to write about. And that's part passion. That's part work. That's part and it's DAO, we would, I think it, it'd be helpful if we wrote about DAOs, but don't limit yourself to has to be SET DAO. But I, maybe I'll give you my example and maybe I might like to write about the idea of the data DAO 
and the propaganda, that partnership that is in one of those threads, that potential. And uh, so I think that's something I might write about. I like that idea. So I want to kind of brainstorm off that. So just take a few minutes and I'm going to mute and just write mine and, and uh, in the middle, actually, <laughs> or middle side, wherever you want, but write it. This is your main idea and we're going to branch off from that. Writing is nature, right? Do you want us to share it or just write it to ourselves? Uh, write it to yourself. And then we, if we want to share, we will, because it could be personal too. But yeah, write it first. Take a second to let your creative, where do you want to maybe go? And uh, parameters, it's just through this course, but it could be uh, three months. It could be three weeks. So right now we're just thinking, what do I want to write about maybe? What, what's the first thing in your head that pops up that says, I want to write about that a little, just a little. Don't think about the specifics of writing about it. Don't think about research or anything like that. Just what do you, what peaks your Okay. How's everyone doing? Does everyone have something, anything written? I, yeah, I, it's I'm perfectly comfortable sharing mine and then anyone can share if they'd like to. So, uh, mine, I just wrote down, I kept it pretty simple. I wrote data DAO, propaganda DAO relationship. I think that's an interesting thing about, and that's where I'm starting. And I'm not thinking about the logistics. I'm not thinking about how, what the leaders are doing, what FBT is doing. I'm just thinking about that, that, just the simple of that relationship to start. Sure. Because I've been looking a lot, sorry, because I've been looking a lot at the journey of joining this crypto DAO world. I think my topics that I want to write about is, is DAO for beginners. Find a nice way to tell the story, especially now that I'm starting to understand the DAO suite better as well. So to be able to tell a story about you starting something and how each of these tools would help you get there, the very simple language. That's a great path. I, I, that's a really nice starting point. You have a lot of material there. Anyone else want to share? Sure, yeah, I can share. So I've kind of got DAOs in the middle and then I've got all these, all these sort of offshoots. So you've got, yeah, one of them was mini DAOs and the collaborations. Tools was another one. Governance was another, which led to, and then another is like smart contracts. Another offshoot is like people being other users, contributors, and thinking about reputation. DAOs had them misunderstood and they had to provide clarity on that. Like, you know, not a FUD killing, but dealing with mischaracterizations and misunderstandings. And then the nature of DAOs in terms of these are the things that came to me. I think that is a, a perfect example of, I heard in an, you say before, and I must say anything you say in creative writing class, uh, unless it's recorded, we can talk about without privacy. I, I don't share or I'll try not to share, but your leadership in the DAO. So it's the creative project. I, I enjoy that where we had smaller ideas. Raga had a big idea, but he started small here. Just like, oh, let's spread this out. <laughs> I like it. I like where your brain went there. Okay, so that is, I actually, you don't mind, uh, I saw uh, Damien pop up. I could try and share my uh, iPad screen, but it just may take a moment of me to jump over and I can try that because then I can show you live drawing of what I'm doing. I don't know if that will, do you guys want me to try that? Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, okay, just a moment. I think I have to connect on my iPad, so it might just give me a little bit of difficulty. Hello, can you guys hear me okay? Yep, yeah, awesome. Excellent. I'm so glad we figured that out. Okay. So this is as simple as I was talking about, and I am so glad that I can share it with you this way. That way you'll be able to see what is going to be messy at the end. You'll at least be able to see uh, what it looks like in the beginning and what it's made. If we are ready, we're going to move on to the next part of this exercise, which is the brainstorm, which is just the drawing and, and just writing out ideas that we uh, think. I will note, I write very messy. Oh, it took me, I had to use text to get this here. So I'll try and write as many as I can. But this next part is, let's say we'll take to five minutes. So that's half hour for, I think, everyone's time. <laughs> Unless we have some time seekers here. And start to dry out. This is a brain dump. This is a brain. It's a flow off that, like offshoot. And I will start to demonstrate it, which is probably easier as well. I, it's however you want to be, honestly. Uh, it's a thought capture. So... I am circling up there. I like blue too. Uh, I like all the colors. So it's just honestly, however you want to work, but I like, so 
I'm gonna I won't talk out all my ideas because this is this is a this is the beginning of it. Something that I like about this that I see, and this is silly, but uh I see uh this relationship like uh, a whale. And so I'm gonna draw that because I'm a little bit more drawery than writey sometimes, so I can write this out as a terrible whale. This is why I'm not a full time artist, in case you weren't aware. I see it as that that relationship. And for me, visually, this brainstorm chart, it's really bad actually. Let me just write it. I understand that's a whale and I can come back to that and, and explore that partnership. Because is it that or is is it a one of those yin and yang symbols? What kind of partnership is this? I like thinking about that and thinking about is uh, what it could be and that. And then there's also the real, now is the time that you can write down those realistic things you want to. So money is, is one that I have to think about that. If I'm thinking about even imaginary time, you have to think about that and then Another one is the, let's say, FET leaders, right? Because they have to kind of talk that out. And then not even FET leaders, but community. Community is big. So those are, that's where I'm, that's where I'm starting. And that's the idea of this exercise. So I'm going to mute and do that. And let me know if you have any questions, anything at all, and want to talk it out or uh, need me to redraw my whale. Cool. Thanks. Give it a go. So it's like a mind map. Exactly. Yep. It's, it is that, yeah, we're just drawing out the thoughts because these are all, we want to start the structure for us to, um, start to write about it and think about it. We kind of are, I think I'd like to see this as like the goals for a few weeks of us writing. We may write on these topics for, I don't know, let's just pretend two months. If we write on these topics for two months, this is that very beginning piece. And we have so many offshoots that we can learn about and. I think this writing course isn't just a club, is not just a way to, sorry, <laughs> trying to get it to not do that. It's a way to build on our knowledge and even our communication skills and the community. Yes, it's at this point, it's just a map. We're just drawing a map of where we might want to go. Do we use uh, this, your mind map and uh, grab an idea and go on, or do we explore our own draw topics? Your own. Yep, explore your own topics. Yep, I'm just writing mine as an example to show you the broad, but you don't have to use or look at those at all. It was just a, a, an example. And this is also, I'd like to add, I, guess, I think it's called blue skies thinking. So that's the term I was thinking of earlier. So it's whatever, it's anything, all the rabbit holes. This is where we're writing down the rabbit holes and drawing out the map for the initial portals, right? If you're reading a good article, they do transport you through the different experiences and the lives of the people that are affected by the article or, or the community it enhances. So that's where we're starting. We're starting at what rabbit holes do we want to go through ourselves? And that'll help us define what rabbit holes we want to bring the reader through. What portal, where do we want them to end up? We're not there yet. We're not defining where we want our readers to end up yet. We're just defining what are we interested in. So that's why it's a, supposed to be a fun, creative, sort of academic exercise. Next time I'll make sure to bring a very fun exercise. But this was the exercise I planned, so I guess that's helpful. Oh, I think I went past time. I apologize for that, everyone. I went past that uh, five minutes. Uh, oh, wait. Um, no, okay. I was not trying on my phone. How is everyone doing? Is that hard, medium? Good. Just getting, in, just Good. getting everything done. There. Sorry, the push to talk was fighting me. Oh, no, that's okay. Would you guys like to take a little more time to write these down? Because this is really the, this is the, the foundation of our club. So. I don't mind taking as much. This is the beginning creative, but also this is shaping into how we, where we're going to go. So I, I think it's great to take more time and really take a, we could even take 10 if we need to write out our thoughts, if you'd like. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, for sure. More time. That'd be great. Yep. And so I'll just keep sharing my screen to give you that like mapping and if you need it, but don't worry. It's it's really, I'm just writing it down my own and I'm trying not to think that I'm sure I'm trying to think of it just naturally as if you guys weren't watching. Hey guys, sorry. I was a bit late. I'm back now. We are writing, brainstorming. I'm sharing my my free brain chart, um, mind mapping, and that's so how people can have ideas if they need them. But it's we're setting the foundation for the writing club. What we want to start to write about, learn about, and communicate. That's our yes. for starting. I love Procreate as well, so very nice. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. I I love it. I uh, just started using it in October, so I I figured that'd be it. Really, is a nice tool for me to express myself. Oh, hello, Dr. Nick. Excellent. Uh, we are doing creative writing exercise. So uh, if you'd like to join, let me know and I'll explain it. But if not, uh, no pressure. Oh, I'm going to be hanging around. I'm actually doing some writing right now. So I thought I'd join. Excellent. You. 
But I'm, I'm being quiet because my daughter's asleep, so I'll hang back. Of course. Uh, thank you. You are welcome. I, I imagine this as a, a class setting and you just came in the back. <laughs> Please come on in. Everyone's welcome at our class. Ksenia? Well, not everyone. Yes, everybody except Google and Microsoft. Yeah, that will be one Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, I don't have that. <laughs> Maybe someday. Are we going to have like our, our channel to share our stuff or should we pop stuff in general? Or are we not sharing? What's the plan? But that is a group consensus. And maybe someday we can even do a vote on this in, in the future. We can set up this, <laughs> have a vote, a writing club gets a vote. It's it. <clears throat> Generally in a creative writing course, I would say it is encouraged to share, but with the unique nature of our, what brings us together, our camaraderie, I respect that people like to keep their ideas to themselves. So I will not force anyone to share. And then as far as where to put it, I think that is a community discussion. And since we're on our zero right now, we're going to define that today, I think, to hopefully um, in the next 20 minutes, let's decide where do we want to share if we do and where does we put that? And that's actually maybe that could have been a very useful thing for me to write out as my presentation. I could have written out the thought bubble of where do we put this. So actually, I could put mine on hold right now and go and make that in the, these moments so we can branch off there. So we'll do that as well. Oh, you're you're fine. Don't. This is we're we're doing this together as a group. It's fine. Yeah, I enjoy it. So I, I appreciate everyone uh, showing, coming up today to uh, write with us. It's a nice to have a. Uh, at four in the afternoon in crypto world, it's just twenty four seven. So getting this thing approved just for the staking, because I'm writing. Hey, Freddie, just muted you. But if you want to mute yourself, I can unmute you. Because you had a live mic in this thinking. I think I'm going to maybe in about two minutes pull everyone together and, and we can uh, kind of talk about what we achieved in our brain mapping. Okay. So if you need more time or want to, uh, oh, then about two minutes. Okay. So uh, wrapping up our brainstorming, when did you like your foundation? And do you think the idea, I think, too, is to be able to put this down today? and come back to it throughout the week or throughout the day, whenever you get a spark and kind of be able to add your details, add that color. So we, we are making the lines today for our structure and it's the potential is that we can come back to this easily and continue to build where we want in a creative kind of free way. That's one of the best parts of something like this exercise is that it matters, but it doesn't. So that's, I want uh, each of you to hear that. It matters, but it doesn't. And so it's supposed to be fun. And so I really appreciate everyone participating. Before we go over, I, was, I made the rough writing club type of brain map. Before we talk about that, does anyone want to share anything from their flow process writing their brain? Did you, sorry, can you ask a question again? Sorry. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, that was me. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I was like, I have four devices in front of me trying to connect to my, my, my AirPods, so I'm sure also a problem here. Um, so I was wondering, uh, does anyone want, before we move on to the writing club kind of goal setting and, and that kind of written brain mapping of that, does anyone want to share anything from their their foundation, their process, or totally optional, but you could, if you want to share your goals, I know I shared mine earlier and I can uh, do that again. This is where I started. I'll come back to this after and, and write in my lines a little bit before our next um, session. So know that mine's not done, but yours doesn't have to be easy. This is where I, the point of this too, uh, and again, like if I pretended that I wasn't doing this in front of people, is it only has to make sense to you at this point. And honestly, I believe it only has to make sense to you for most of this course, because it's supposed to be creative. If you don't end up with a, a Pulitzer Prize winning blog at the end of this, that's okay. And you really, it's part of it, part of this process is learning how to communicate with yourself effectively. So that's where we're, where our goals are, I think, and, and where we're starting. So if anyone would like to share or ask questions, now is the time. Yeah, I'll share. That's fine. So my goal is, I've got a couple of goals. One of them is I want to write a Twitter thread each day. Not each day, Monday to Friday, I should say. I won't write them each day. I will write them. I'll sit down at one time and spend a couple of hours and write them out. And But then using those threads, I want to flesh them out into blog posts so I can do two beds of one stone type thing. So do the, do the like quick write for the thread and then do the like a bit of a longer write for the for the post or something like that but that's my my goal 
That's a, that's a, that's a nice goal. It's a duality is very nice about it too. That's something nice when you can, I think the writing club in general, we have that, we can hopefully get something out of it, but if we don't, it's that goal setting. So good, nice. I think that's a, a healthy goal. Not that I'm assessing any of you. That is a good one. Anyone else? Sure. So I, I moved away from the paper and went to the computer because I'm more comfortable there, but I did a little mind map of like topics that, uh, could be interesting for the beginners. What is a wallet? What is an NFT? Crypto safety. And then going back to that idea of if I were to explain the DAO suite to somebody just joining the space, what's the, what's the storytelling behind it, right? So what is a DAO and what would you need to set up a DAO and how do, how do these tools help you get there? And then in the middle of this, what is finance.vote? And then I moved away and just thought more kind of general stuff. What are 10 words you should know if you're going to come into the crypto and to the DAO space? Or once you explain a bit what that DAO and an NFT is, what is, what do these things have to do with kind of the future of work? So it's like reaching out to people that are entering the space in a language that they understand so that when they actually do get exposed to a, a more detailed either presentation or text or something they've already been introduced to these things that's good that's a good that's a good base too um i actually came across some this is a nice discussion space for all so i came across some material earlier today that i saved it was uh some slides on general wallet type things and it's on twitter so the human i think understands they're sharing it with everyone um I know there's probably a spot in the Discord for it, so uh, I can add, I can put that somewhere. And I, I know that it gives the highlights, of, as you know, of what to teach uh, in the beginning. So if that gives you any uh, direction too, I can, I'll send those over. So, yeah, yeah please. Beginner, that sounds great. That's a good story to tell, the, uh, that beginner story. Thank you for sharing, everyone. Uh, if no one else uh, would share, I'm going to bring up the writing mind map that I started. And so... This was, I guess, a beautiful thing about an idea. I think it was Ksenia's idea, but it's something that we're just building on. And that's uh, what I see as a DAO story. And that's what I understand this uh, type of community uh, ecosystem to be. I just wrote out some quick ones and now is the time we can add more. I did schedules, what we've already talked about. And this, again, is not a physical, it's just the mind map, right? And goals, blogs, creativity, relaxing our process brain. Sometimes it's nice to not have to think about every single detail that goes into a transaction and i think a lot of you know what i mean by that and that that focus so it's a good opportunity a bi-weekly to just change the focus change our perspective change our lens and i hope that we can continue to do that and build on the creative activities this one was very more of a structured creative activity but it was to set our our tone for the future of our writing clubs i hope to have some fun i guess we could even put fun down there because fun always deserves to be on the table. So I'm going to spell fun now, just being funny. <laughs> so that is the schedule that I think we're going to have so far. And that evolves, I think, too. Um, location, we have to decide. And I don't know that we have to decide or if the uh, community already has decisions on where these types of things go. So I would like this to be as seamless as joining that at the reading club type of ecosystem. And I think that could be hopefully achieved that we can just mash this in with as, as we talked about on our call the other day on what the plan was. So that was uh, where I just wrote that. I think those are the ideas. So they're down. And then um, suggestions. I left room for everyone if they want suggestions. If you, uh, just, and not even just suggestions, questions. Any words you want to put on the table? Anything that you um, would like to uh, add? Did you say we, um, uh, you wanted to be seamless as in we should agree on some tools or we can just, you mean, have a channel, we could dump everything? Oh, I meant what? seamless, like the messaging, how the reading club already hoping that we don't have to do too much keeping on because I didn't want to add a lot of work to, I don't, I personally at this point don't do a lot of the messaging uh, internally within the DAO. So I didn't want to assume that somebody was taking on that responsibility. So that's the discussion there. But I know Mess that we talked about the other day. You, uh, what do you, uh, sorry, I didn't get any of that. What do you mean messaging of the session? No, I think I'm not communicating uh, correctly. Uh, we talked about this when we made the uh, commitment to have this session uh, when we talked about with Matt the other day. And so I think those details are already decided, but I just wrote them down as a as a note, like on my, if I'm brain mapping. 
yeah, yeah that's, so, that's what I... so it's locked in yeah like you said every two yeah. weeks so next week we'll, on t- tuesday next week we'll do the reading club and then the tuesday after that we'll go to the writing club but this thursday slot we're only doing it thursday today because we cancelled nick's keynote so it just made sense to do that right now um yeah. so we can get it going but then thursdays going forward in this time slot we're going to have that um, vote chat where we're going to talk about the vote that just passed and the upcoming votes. Yeah, and what about Tuesday? What time? Because I just realized 3 Same. p.m. like 3 p.m. p.m. Sorry, 2 p.m. 3 p.m. my time is like today I managed to arrange something. But uh, normally 2 p.m. UTC is when my kid comes home. Either, either I pick him up or my partner and it's just like I have to feed him and it's a mess. So... I don't know. Could we just do it like one hour later or one hour earlier, or is it too much hassle? I could definitely do earlier. I'm keen on earlier for me. I'm also keen on earlier then, if it's okay with everyone. Because it, Tuesday... It, we are talking about Thursday, right? So we all, so the schedule... No, no, I thought, I thought two, we were right? talking about... Tuesday. Yeah, so Tuesday, the schedule is 11 and 2, right? Okay, t- then Tuesday at 11. That's so because it's, it's, we... Sorry, sorry, two seconds. So Tuesdays at 2, 2 p.m., what do we normally have? Nothing. I thought normally we have Tuesday at 11, we usually have reading club, right? Oh, okay, okay. Then I don't want everyone to adjust to me. Then I would be just then joining somehow asynchronously the same exercises and so on. Or we could do it at 11 or... Um, like Tuesday at 11. We don't have anything on Tuesday at 11. I don't think so, no. Pretty sure, no. It's, it's focus day, right? So we could do Tuesday at 11. Yep. That means, I mean, oh, we, be good. we should probably just move the reading club to that time as well and just have Tuesday at 11, either reading or writing club and job done. It sounds really good because Tuesday is supposed to be like not so many meetings day. And then it's nice to just have something, at least for me, <laughs> in the beginning of the day rather than in the middle. Yeah, and, then, and this worked for me to arrange around my in real life schedule too. So it would work very well for me at that time. Cool. Should we open a, a separate channel for for writing club, or is it not necessary? I wonder. Yeah, probably... Oh, go on. Sorry. I was gonna say, should we put it with the? I think if we're gonna partner and and change every other week, which I think would be great. It would be great if everyone had uh, one place to come for these sessions. It just does add the rabbit holes if we separate them out. So I think it's, I plan to attend both. So it's okay for me to have all of that chatter in one place, but it's more- In one place, yeah. Let's have it in one place. And if it's bursting, then we open more for you. Yeah, here's like a, so an alternative is we've got Reads and Dow Reading Club as two channels. I think that's one channel. I don't think we need two channels for that. Um, mm-hmm. And we just... We can... You know, so the, just... the reads thing, it was an old thing that everyone suggests in reads, then we take stuff from reads and then discuss it in a reading. But we can archive the reads. I'm fine with it. I think, yeah, it was... we archive reads. And we have to have reading club. If you want to open up the writing club, then fine, that can replace reads. But I don't feel like we need the reads. Channel. No. Okay, we can think about how to archive it because maybe there are cool links in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. but we're going a bit meta. I think what would be cool, then we just meet in in the reading club, but next next week is reading club. Next week is reading club and then the week after is writing club again. Correct? Yes, yep, yep. So we will meet again on, today is the 20th. We will meet again on the 1st of February. I vote, nope. Real bad at that, guys. Real bad at that. Oh, no, that's right. First of February is when and we'll do meet we, at the club. Do we have any? Homework delivered after the session in the Reading Club channel. If there is homework, I'll put it there. The optional homework, I think if it's okay with the group, I will find some creative uh, writing type exercises and put those in there. It's something that kind of uh, plays off that. So I'll add some homework for optional exercises to continue creating. Um, so... I actually have to drop off. I'm glad that we were going to meet a little bit earlier. I appreciate everyone coming today. Truly, thank you for your time. I, I look forward to the session and group. And I, I really do love that it's on Focus Tuesday. I think it'll be a really nice opportunity to imagine ourselves sitting in a room in a library, all just working on something.
things that we are passionate about. So that's that's something. Maddie, your mic's gone a little bit funny, but I think you I think I caught what you said. So I yeah, I was being say... sentimental and nice to everyone. Yeah, my mind <laughs> it's, it's all the uh, problems with the AirPods. So I'll work on that. Too. No, it's okay. Cool. It's... That sounds Thanks. wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Bye, Bye everyone. Well, thank you. Um, Bye, actually, everybody. Hey, Nick, are you there or have you, are you gone?